Good afternoon, Aviators. I'm Jaleesa. And I'm Juliana. And here are your announcements for this week. We had some special guests tour the studio earlier this week. Here's a bit from their visit. Good afternoon, Aviators. I'm Jonathan. And I'm James. I'm Noel. And I'm Brianna. And we are guests anchors from Cub Scout Pack 50. On Monday, Cub Scout Pack 50 toured the Media Arts Studio. And now for the weather report. This weekend, we are looking at a chilly one. Saturday, a chance of snow showers, mostly cloudy with a high near 33 degrees. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you for watching. I'm Noel. And I'm Jonathan. And I'm James. And I'm Brianna. And we hope you have a great day. This past week was School Counselor Appreciation Week. We want to thank you all for what you do for everyone in the school. Make sure to tell a counselor you appreciate them. Juniors, the SAT is about a month away. Testing will be on March 1st and 2nd. People with the last name A through K will be testing on Wednesday, and people with the last names L through Z will be testing on Thursday. A special shout-out goes to Anna Eversdyke, who has been chosen through an audition to participate in OMIA Honors Choir this past weekend at a state convention. Good job, Anna. Map testing will be on the 14th and 15th of next week. You will be testing in your second period class. Tuesday is English and Wednesday is math. Make sure you are ready and have your iPads charged. Kent Stark is coming to AHS on Tuesday, February 21st in Room A. Any 11th or 12th graders interested to learn more about the university can fill out the Google form that got sent to you from Mrs. McDermott. Rural Aviation will be on Saturday, February 25th in the auditorium. The show choir competition will welcome groups across the state and region. Volunteers are needed. Anyone who volunteers will get service hours towards college, and if interested, contact Heather Austin. Diversity Night will be taking place on Thursday evening. The social justice team has helped to coordinate the event. Here's some more on that. February 13th. At 7 p.m., the second Diversity Night will be held in the auditorium to celebrate and learn about diversity. Concert choir will be singing cultural songs, and the social justice group led by Mr. Triner will be explaining the significance and history of those songs. A guest speaker will also come to present his experience as a Native American and how he has developed resiliency through discrimination. The event is free and open to the public. Now is the time to consider being a member of the flag line. Juliana made a video about the flag line and how you can join. individuals that try out and they make uh, the line and they twirl flag and sometimes they twirl double flag. You must be entering at least your freshman year in the fall. You do not need to be in marching band beforehand. You do need to sign up for marching band and concert band as a class the coming year. If that doesn't fit into your schedule, we can talk to the band director and your counselor and try to work something out. There is a major time commitment. You would need to be at all of the practices that the marching band has, as well as additional practices that we have on our own. There's also a monetary commitment. We try to keep the cost very low and do fundraising so you can do it at no cost, if possible. Come and give it a try. We have open gyms. You can try everything out, see if you like it. There's no commitment to try out. Tryouts will be
be in March. We will have clinics Monday through Thursday where we learn the routine and tryouts will be on Friday. Valentine's Day is around the corner. Mary set out to see what students were looking forward to about the holiday. Hi, I'm Mary and today we're going to find out how people truly feel about Valentine's Day. What are your honest thoughts about Valentine's Day? Um, it's an interesting holiday. Uh, nothing special about it, I feel like. Um, I don't really celebrate it much. What are your honest opinions about Valentine's Day? I think Valentine's Day is very really lovely. I love the, you know, coming together as a couple and just, you know, just loving each other, you know? Yeah. Do you guys have any plans? <laughs> oh, not at all. No. It's candy. <laughs> yeah. My mom and dad give me stuff. How do you feel about Valentine's Day? I think it's a fun holiday for anybody that wants to celebrate love. Chocolate. What are your honest thoughts about Valentine's Day? It's okay. I don't really care for it. What are your honest thoughts about Valentine's Day? I really like chocolate. Uh, plans? Consume all chocolate products. Thanks. Thank you for watching. I'm Julissa. And I'm Juliana. And, and we, we hope, hope you have, have a great, great day. day.